this game is called Crack the Code. It is a one student to one computer individual game designed kind of like a video game that you can put your own questions into. I'm going to first show you how to play the game and then give you a little instruction on how you can put in your own questions. We're going to click on the continue button in the lower right. Uh, this little man here is going to tell us that we need to be able to find specific numbers on a screen and he's going to help us learn how to do that. So first we're going to click on the practice button here to just practice one time. Basically I'm going to click the begin button. Now on this screen here are all these numbers and this one number in particular is what we're looking for. 8834671. Now if we come over here and think oh that's it right there and we click it and it's the wrong one we're going to be asked to go back and try that again. And basically this gets harder, there gets more numbers, and it gets to be a timed limit thing where you only have a certain amount of time to find them. So for example here in this simple one, I'm going to come over here to the right. and Now that I've found it, I can continue on. From this point on, we're going to be answering some questions that gives us a short introduction to how to answer those questions. Once we've answered some more questions, then we'll be able to take on the next code to try to break it. So what I'm going to do is click continue here and give you a couple of sample questions. Uh, gorilla's main predators are, and when we would choose A, B, C, or D, if I choose the wrong answer like A, it's going to come and tell me that was wrong and I need to try it again. Once I come up here now, I can choose B, that they have no predators, which is correct. And now I have this ability to click, click here and keep going to the next screen. Um, these, etc. here, again, once we decided what the correct answer is, I'll click that button. And basically, you continue to do this until you go through all the questions and have deciphered all the codes. That's basically how Break the Code works. I'm now going to talk to you about how to edit or how to add your own questions to the Break the Code PowerPoint game. I'm going to scroll down here and we'll see that the first actual question slide starts at slide 8. Now what I encourage instructors or students who are editing these games to do is to decide how many questions you have first and set up that many slides at, then at that point so that if you needed 20 slides then you make sure you have 20 slides in here before you start entering in your actual questions. I just do that because it's easier to do it that way than to try to go back and do it any other way. So um, first off that's what I encourage you to do. The default game has about 15 to 20 questions just to let you know. After you decided how many questions you need and you got those in there, we'll simply come here and follow the instructions. We're going to delete this text here and we'll place in our own question, what is 5 plus 5? And then here we'll follow the instructions again. Incorrect answer A will go here. Correct answer for letter B will go here and then another incorrect answer here and lastly another incorrect answer goes at the bottom here. So once we have done that we can also edit it. If this is just simply PowerPoint we can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can change the color, whatever you want to do you can insert a picture or a photograph and then ask a question about that picture or photograph. All that's possible it's simply PowerPoint. You can rearrange these so that they go across the screen instead of going vertically. They can go horizontally. So any of these possibilities are out there. This gives you a lot more ability to type text straight down, etc. here. You do it all based on what your question is and what the answers are. So after you've got this done, a couple of other tips here. You'll simply just continue through here editing and typing in your own questions. If you need to make another slide question, if you need more question slides, instead of choosing copy and paste, what I encourage you to do is to right click and choose duplicate slide. Right click and choose duplicate slide. Now that's in Office, Microsoft Office PowerPoint 2007. If you have an earlier version like Microsoft Office uh, 2003 or earlier, then you will simply click the slide you want to duplicate, go to the insert menu and choose duplicate slide. 
that basically will allow you to create an exact duplicate of that slide. If you just choose copy and paste, it won't get all the background formatting and some of the other nice things that make the slide look the way it does. So that's why you need to choose to do that. That's also why I encourage you to go ahead first and choose how many slides you need and get them all created first before you actually go in and start typing on them. Also, you can move around these slides so that you don't have the same like three or four that are coming up with the same answer C or D all the time. As you scroll down over here on the left going through your questions, you'll see that each after four or so five questions, you get another break the code game. Do not delete or edit any of these slides in any way as this is the actual little mini game here. What you want to do is only work on the true, false, and multiple choice questions. Um, if you do happen to by accident delete or change some of these slides here for that have the little mini games and it does no longer work, it's not a problem. You can just simply re-download the break the code game or open up your original if it's not been edited and overwritten and copy your questions from the actual slide and paste them onto your other slides in the game and then you'll be perfectly fine and everything will work again. So you would basically take those, the game that you had created that had kind of gotten messed up, copy the text out of the questions, open up a new blank game that you just downloaded or just reopened from your original, paste in those questions on those slides and then the game should work again. And that's basically how you edit the break the code game. To begin the game using Office 2007, go to the Slideshow tab and click one time. After clicking on the Slideshow tab, click the From Beginning button on the far left. This will begin the game. To start the game in any version of PowerPoint before Office 2007, go to the Slideshow menu and choose View Show. This game is designed for individual student use. It is designed to be used in a one computer to one student setup. Suggested uses are to place a finished game onto a resource computer in a classroom and allow the students to play the game for enrichment or review. Alternatively, you could place a finished copy in a computer lab and place one copy of the game on each computer or on a school server. As with any of these template games, teachers are encouraged to allow students to create these games using the teacher's own curriculum. If you receive a security alert when beginning this game and you're using Office 2007, simply click the Enable This Content button and then click OK. Please note, if you are using a version of Microsoft Office prior to Office 2003, some of the features in these games may not function properly. It is advised that you do your editing of the PowerPoint slides or games in your older version and then use Microsoft's free PowerPoint viewer for actual game play. To download the free viewer, just do a web search for PowerPoint Player 2007.